Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Leadership Lounge with Marlo Foster. Today in focus, homelessness in the U.S. The speed at which it can happen is truly breathtaking. CNN's Dan Simon recently aired a story on Sean Pleasance. Sean Pleasance, a Yale graduate, former Wall Street banker, now homeless in Los Angeles. His story cuts to the core because it truly tells us, but for the grace of God, we could be next. The reasons are so varied for homelessness. Loss of employment, addiction issues, escaping abusive relationships, and so on. But one thing is for certain. As Sean said in his interview, it is not only his problem, but it is everyone's problem. Here is the backdrop. The number of homeless in 2018, an article by Travis Fetchkin at Fox News notes the trends. Higher rents continue to push people out of their homes and onto the streets. In 2018, the national rate of homelessness rose 0.3%. 31 states reported a decrease while 19 states reported an increase. The West Coast is a clear issue. California, Oregon, and Washington drove the higher numbers of homeless people. On a single night in 2018, 553,000 people were experiencing homelessness in the United States. The 2018 Annual Homeless Assessment Report to Congress found that in 2018, more than 180,000 people with families and children were experiencing homelessness. African Americans are considerably overrepresented among the homeless population as it relates to the overall U.S. population. On a single night in January 2018, 37,878 veterans were experiencing homelessness in the United States. That accounted for about 9% of all homeless adults. The National Association to End Homelessness recommends several common sense policy solutions which involve a coordinated approach to delivering services, housing, and programs. But in addition, they have several other things that they recommend. When possible, rapid rehousing is key. Quickly connecting people to housing and services. When rapid rehousing is not possible, long-term rental assistance is paramount. An effective crisis response system which intervenes to prevent homelessness by connecting people to housing assistance and other services is also critical. And finally, helping lower income individuals increase their income to support housing stability is also very important. So, who is doing God's work in this area? I want to spotlight two North Carolina ministries that are addressing the homelessness situation head on. First, the Raleigh Rescue Mission. The Raleigh Rescue Mission is a 501c3 nonprofit dedicated to serving the homeless in Raleigh, North Carolina through the love of Christ. Their vision is to realize transformed lives and transform communities through Christ focusing on several core values, integrity, prayer, unity, love, service, and excellence. The Raleigh Rescue Mission has been in existence for about 60 years, offering hope and help to individuals who find themselves homeless and hurting. More than 750,000 men, women, and children have stepped through the doors, found shelter under the roof, and found the love of Christ in action. From a simple prayer in the lobby to moving individuals or family through a new life plan and eventually into their home, the Raleigh Rescue Mission changes lives. And then there's the Charlotte Mecklenburg Dream Center. The Charlotte Mecklenburg Dream Center gives hope to the homeless by engaging forgotten communities and joining hands with the body of Christ across Charlotte. Through the Adopt-A-Block outreach program in local neighborhoods, Bible studies in the King's Kitchen each weekday afternoon, financial training, and GED classes. The Dream Center is connecting those in seemingly hopeless situations with the greatest hope of all. And I quote, To achieve our mission, 
Giving Hope to the Homeless, the Dream Center partners with businesses, nonprofit organizations, and churches to offer services, medical care, clothing, food, housing, training, discipleship, and employment as part of the year-long discipleship program. This past Sunday at Pine Valley United Methodist Church in Wilmington, North Carolina, which is my new church home, Pastor Tim laid down a mighty word. Preaching from Genesis chapter 37 regarding Joseph and his betrayal at the hands of his brothers, Pastor Tim said he was haunted by verses 24 and 25. They took him and threw him into the pit. The pit was empty without water and they sat down to eat a meal. Pastor Tim's point was this. When we see or know that others are struggling, that they are living their lives in the pit or about to fall into the pit, are we engaging? Or are we sitting to satisfy ourselves and having a meal at a table? God calls us to live this life together. And from the standpoint of the homeless situation in the U.S., now is the time to engage. Find your local nonprofit that's working to address the homeless situation and get up from the table. This is the Leadership Lounge with Marlo Foster.